here we are with isekai og sun episode 6 and yeah last episode was quite funny with some moments of og sun with the marble and the elf right and then we also saw how he got into the world right and what he wished for basically because everyone that gets into the world seems to get a wish or something and he wished to understand the language because the guys that beat him he couldn't understand them so that's what he wished for and yeah can't wait to see what happens next because you never know what happens next in this anime so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode oh already beaten up oh <clears throat> the beginning Oh, they sold him at a circus. <laughs> Ten bronze coins. It's more worth than a half dead orc that can talk. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> uh, OG-san is worth three bronze coins, half dead, an orc that can talk apparently for them, and a filthy, trashy whatever is worth 120 bronze coins. <laughs> Dude, I expected that it was worth more than him, right? Because that's just how this anime is, right? But not that much more. <laughs> I can't wait to see the priest girl here. We didn't see her so far. Man, I love this intro so much. The visuals are amazing. And the, the OST of the song is also so good. <clears throat> can't wait to see what happens this episode it can <laughs> i'm still wondering like we saw a bit of blood here right that he is in the cell and that there's some blood splatters here on the book i wonder if we see something like that in this season like something more dark right i mean there is some dark stuff right now but i want more Nosebleed? Yeah. He, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, he read? Oh, <laughs> he read the diary. <laughs> so that what? Ha oh, no, don't give it to her. Memory erase incoming. <laughs> okay, she's fine. She is not reading past the first page. Okay. Warning. Warning. Stop. <laughs> Don't remember it. Oh, that's how he landed in the cell. What is the eye on the back? Maybe the symbol of the circus or some shit? <clears throat> yeah, how did he escape, right? Maybe here he gets his power somehow?
skipping a week. <laughs> How did he survive without food and water? Ah. Uh, okay. Is this how you learn spells? <laughs> mm hmm. <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, completely sane. The light ray talks back. I guess this is how he learns how he learns the spells. What the fuck? <clears throat> That's how he got his sword, okay. Oh, so that how he, yeah, right. Oh, oh my God, really? It's the spirits because of. Because he can understand others, he can understand spirits. Oh my god, I didn't thought of this. I thought it was just an ability that he somehow can communicate with spirits. I mean, no one knows him, right? So... <laughs> yeah, always video games. <clears throat> Did he free the others? Of course he did. Aww. Let me guess it attacks him. Yep. <laughs> of course. Oh my. <laughs> of course. Of course, they're not thankful. Oh my god. Well, he dead. <laughs> oh, did he die and respawn? The OC.
Oh, spirit magic again? <laughs> Is this spirit magic he's using because he can talk to spirits? <laughs> <laughs> My God, bro. <laughs> what the hell, bro? <laughs> <laughs> He's done. <laughs> oh, he buried them all. That nourished my staffed body. <laughs> A great <laughs> I mean, I... <clears throat> Aww. Fried chicken? Chicken! Oh, really? If that was a great start, what is going downhill from here? <laughs> and now they're hooked again. <laughs> oh, nothing. Oh, yeah, we know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the part I came for. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Watch closely. On the ninth day. <laughs> My fried chicken. <laughs> Okay, so he just used the weak point. Mm hmm. No, <laughs> oh, how sweet. Hello, elf in the sweater. His face. Oh, my God. <laughs> She glitched. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. Mm hmm. Oh, 
Bro. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Say something. I I yeah, I guess so. I mean, somewhat maybe, right? It depends on the person, right? Sometimes saying more can make things worse. I mean, he literally just undressed her completely, right? <laughs> yeah, he just melted, I guess. Marble? Oh, 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 hello. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from him. He's mine alone. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh really and since then she's alone <laughs> mm-hmm <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense, right? Keeping options. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so crazy, man. <clears throat> now Marble becomes a pet. <laughs> What's with her mother? Isn't she also Ice Clan? But she says she's, she's the only one left. Elf will do. Oh, is this how they group up? 
Uh, but I mean, the elf doesn't say her name too, right? <laughs> Womanizer <laughs> orc. <laughs> <laughs> A hero is trying to clear a dungeon nearby. Oh, she is this a priest girl? No way. That's some conditions. <laughs> okay, they don't group up. And that's what she missed the fried chicken for. <laughs> I don't have enough money. <laughs> okay, he does it. He has enough money. Indeed. More or less. <laughs> oh my god, I'm hungry. Okay, <laughs> he didn't have enough money. Okay, that was the episode, let me know what you think. But yeah, funny episode again, right? Um, there's some interesting things, right? Um, so it seems like when Oji-san and the elf met, she wasn't necessarily bad to him right i mean <clears throat> there was this one moment where she grabbed the knife and she's like yeah you're ugly and all that stuff but it's and he's like where did you get the knife from um so it seems like that was more like a reflex maybe right um because for to her he looks like an orc right um i th it it seems like it only started to go south really bad as when he like thought she stabbed herself and pretty much undressed her right <laughs> i think that's when shit got south uh, when th uh, when south right um when she got really mad at him because of that <laughs> um so that's very interesting so now we know how they met and everything um and then we had the scene in the inn basically with her and Marble <laughs> lying on top of him, and she made up a bad excuse basically. Um, oh yeah, um, when uh, Fuji uh, Fujimiya said like say something, Oji San, and he's like, nah, that would have just provoked her. I mean, it makes sense, right? Depending on the person, saying more can be a pro can be seen as a provocation, right? As a provoke. Um, for some people it does, for some people it doesn't. So I could see in in the case of the elf that if he would have said more and tried to defend himself, that she would have seen it as provocation, right? And it would have made things worse, probably. Um, so I can see that he is like, yeah, no, saying stuff would be bad, so just be patient. I mean, I guess at that point his fate was already sealed, that she would always be a tsundere towards him right <laughs> because on one hand she's like 
she likes him because he saved her and was nice to her. But on the other hand, he looks like an orc and he pretty much undressed her at the spot, so she's mad at him for that. Um, now she's like in the spot between love and hatred, some or like, uh, yeah, something like that, right? Um, I guess maybe she just. I guess it's also like that she doesn't want us to like uh, accept her feelings, maybe, right? I mean, I guess that's like the main part for Sundares, right? They they are in love with a person or or have feelings for a person, but they are stoic about it and don't want to um, and don't want to uh, admit that they have feelings, right? And so they treat the person badly in a way. Um, and yeah, I mean, the in scene, basically, again, she's lying on top of him and then she made up a bad, bad excuse so that it not seems like that she likes him and just wants to be close to him, right? Oh my god, the in scene. <laughs> With Marvel also being, wanting to be the pet of the elf now, <laughs> so that she doesn't have to work and shit, that she has, that she has someone that can provide for her. <laughs> And yeah, the end with the ring, that now the elf wants to go back and get the ring back because um, Marble doesn't want to get rid of the ring. Because I guess Marble doesn't, I mean, I guess Marble doesn't know how to pawn the ring, right? I could imagine that that's true. Um, but I think she also doesn't want to get rid of the ring because it's on the ring finger, right? It's like marriage, right? And she likes oji san so I guess she doesn't want to get rid of it, so... She wants to keep it and makes up excuses like she keeps it as an option. She doesn't want to get rid of it, right? Um, and now the elf wants to get her ring back <laughs> because <laughs> because Marble has a ring and she feels threatened by Marble, right? <laughs> so I'm really interested to see how this whole season turns out because we are now at episode 6. So I guess this season has 12 or 13 episodes. So we are like halfway through, right? And... We still didn't saw the priest girl, right? We saw her only in the background a little bit. So it will be interesting to see how we met her. Or meet her, right? And see what's gonna happen. How that turns out. Because then we have like three girls. Because I'm, I mean, at this point we can be pretty sure that the priest girl will fall for OG Sun 2 in some way or another. And probably doesn't want to admit it, right? The same as Marble and the Elf Girl. So it will be interesting to see how that will turn out. And then we have this triangle of three girls and OG Sun in the middle, basically. So <laughs> that will be very interesting. And I mean, now we basically got the whole backstory of OG Sun, right? We know how he got into the world. We know how he came to understand the language. We know what happened to him after the guys beat him up. We know how he got his powers, which is basically from the translation thing he wished for, that he now can even communicate with spirits, and that's where he got all those powers from. It's basically all spirit magic. Um, which I didn't thought about. Like, last episode I didn't, didn't thought about. Like, yeah, now that he has the translation skill, that's how he can understand spirits. I mean, who would have thought about that, right? I mean... You would probably think that it's just like communication with humans, maybe. And I guess I, I thought the spirit thing was something completely different, right? Um, but yeah, it makes sense, which is completely crazy. So it makes sense that he spoke to the light ray in the cell because that's basically a light spirit, which is... May okay, so he wasn't insane, right? <laughs> it seemed that as if he is insane at this point. Being one week alone and forgotten, and only drinking some water from rain, um, but he wasn't. <laughs> and so, yeah, like I said, that's pretty much we know now his backstory. I mean, there's still more to it, right? But we also know now the full story on how he met the elf, and we know the full story on how he met the uh, on how he met Marble. So. The only thing left basically is finding out how he meets the priestess girl, the priest girl, and how that comes all together. And then I guess it's just more of funny, weird moments we see of his life from the Isekai world, right? I, I, I have to say, the last like two 
episodes, I think, <clears throat> didn't really had much stuff in the real world, right? It was mainly just them sitting there in the apartment and watching the uh, memories, right? I would like to see more stuff happening in the real world. The the beginning of the of the anime had like quite a few moments in the real world, right? In the apartment when they did stuff, and um, when Oji San when like Fujimiya came into the apartment for the first time and was alone there, and then suddenly Oji San comes in, right? Stuff like that, funny moments. So I would I hope we get some more stuff in the real world. I think that would be funny, right? And not just isekai memories. Um, but I guess we will see. I really would wish we would get the elf girl somehow in the real world. That would be funny if they somehow, or oh, imagine Marble, the priest girl and the elf girl all come into the real world somehow. Dude, that would be so funny. But <clears throat> at this point, I don't know if that will ever happen. Would be interesting. I would love to see it, but I think it would also complicate stuff, right? Because then we have the elf girl marble and the priest girl around all the time, basically. Because where do they stay, except at the place where Oji San is? And I think, that, and then they couldn't really watch the memories anymore because the elf girl would be around and she would see that stuff. I mean, it could be interesting to see how she would re react to the memories, right? <laughs> and try to defend herself and all that stuff. So it could be interesting, but I, I think that will not happen really. I mean, maybe. <clears throat> At the end of the series, maybe at that point they somehow get to the real world as, as like a final conclusion, right? When everything is said and done. But I, but I, th I think otherwise we won't see that really. But yeah, awesome episode, funny episode, I love to see it. it I, 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 every time I watch this anime, I feel like I don't say much. Because I'm just sitting here and enjoy the show and just laugh, right? <laughs> And I try to just say something so that I'm not just sitting here and laugh the whole time. <laughs> but it's just so funny and I never know what to say about certain things because I'm just enjoying it so much that I lose myself in the show. Um, but yeah, awesome episode. Can't wait for the next episode. Always funny to see this show. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. And I would say next time. Bye-bye.